Today's lecture is about the meaning of republicanism. After the American Revolution, the Americans established a republic, and the simplest definition of a republic is that it's a country that governs itself without a king, without an aristocracy, without even an organized uh, universal church. Uh, Americans have to govern themselves, and that raises a potential problem. And the problem is, how do they do it? What is to prevent the self-government from descending into chaos? And the answer is one that we've discussed already. It's virtue, that quality which leads you to sacrifice your own personal interests for the public good. So the question then becomes, how do you inculcate virtue? How do you make virtue a common social attribute? How do you teach children? Um, to be virtuous. And that becomes the project of Americans after the revolution. How are we going to preserve our revolution and keep it going? Uh, it's, a, it's a big issue for that generation. So we're going to look at a bunch of ways in which Americans attempt to uh, create and preserve an American identity. And that's what today's lecture is going to be about. We're going to look at first um, language. Um, Noah Webster, who attempts to build an American dictionary. Then we're going to look at uh, Royal Tyler, the um, Amer first American playwright, who also happened to be a Vermonter, in his play, The Contrast. Um, then we're going to look at a little more at the notion of virtue and how it's a problem um, with ideas of history as well as um, with uh, as, a, as well as a political problem, uh, and then we're going to look at how republicanism is expressed in uh, material ways, particularly in buildings, in architecture, and then the particular example of um, Charles Wilson Peale's American Museum that he starts in Philadelphia, which is in a museum of of uh, all things American. And finally, we're going to look at George Washington, um, who was called the American Cincinnatus. Cincinnatus was a Roman hero, and George Washington was the exemplary Republican hero himself. Terms today, Noah Webster, author of the first dictionary. The Contrast was written in 1787. That's the first American play. And the contrast in the title is the contrast between uh, England and America at heart. Um, Peel's Museum, which I've already mentioned, um, Charles Wilson Peel tries to um, establish a museum uh, that reflects the greatness of America. The American Cincinnatus, that's a nickname for George Washington after the Roman hero. And then Weems's Life of Washington, this was a biography of George Washington that came out in 1800. Washington had died in 1799, so this is a very quick uh, job. And it very, very successful, goes through 11 editions in 11 years. Themes today. In the years following the revolution, Americans put great emphasis on preserving republicanism, not just on preserving it, but on establishing it and um, uh, inculcating it. And then secondly, George Washington became celebrated as the model Republican citizen. That was Washington's greatness, far more than being a general in the revolution. And that's why we still remember him today.